Hey everyone, uh, so today we're going to um, use the total differential of a function to approximate um, the change in z. Okay, so we're going to go through all the steps. I'll uh, so say we have a function of two variables, so it's broken down into steps for us. So first we have to evaluate f of 2, 1. So this is your x, got to be careful, and then this is your y. So if you replace y with 1 and x with 2, you get that. And if you work this out, I did all these <laughs> tedious computations ahead of time. Um, you get 7.3891, 7.3891, so that's the first answer there. Okay. The second part of the question wants us to evaluate f of 2.5, uh, 1.25 of this ordered pair. So that, that's your x again, that's your x, and that's your y. So this is your x, and this is your y. So be really careful when you plug them in, because the y is first. So it's 1.25, that's the y. And then here you have e, and x is 2.5, so 2.5. And if you work this out using a calculator, again, I did this ahead of time, um, I got 15.2281. So 15.2281. Again, I'm using four decimals. This was a homework problem, so um, they wanted four decimals. Delta Z, basically, you have to subtract these. So it's F of this minus F of this. So it would be, uh, here's the formula, right? That's the formula there. So it's F of this minus F of this. So it would be 15.2281 minus 7.3. Uh, 891, and I got, uh, let's see, 7.839, so 7.839, okay, so that's the actual change in Z uh, as you move uh, from 2.1 to 2.5, 1.25, okay. Now we have to use DZ to approximate delta Z. Let's go ahead and compute um, DZ first. So DZ, we can simply use the formula, right, it's del F del X DX plus del F del Y DY. So the partial with respect to X y is constant, so it hangs out. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So you get y e to the x. And then dx, right, that's from the formula. That's del f del x dx, del f del x dx, boom, plus. Del f del y, again, we're taking this derivative with respect to y. So we're fixing x. So e to the x is like a constant. It hangs out. The derivative of y is 1, so we just get e to the x dy. Now we can plug everything in. So if you look over here, you'll see we have these formulas. So delta x is equal to dx. That's our dx. You say, what's, what's delta x? It's the change in x. We went from 2 to 2.5. Okay, so delta x, delta x is going to be 0.5. That's delta x. Uh, delta y, we went from 1 to 1.25. So delta y is uh, 0.25. Good stuff. Uh, now, what about the x and the y? Well, x is 2 and y is 1. You want to use the initial point where you start for your x and y, do not use these, right? So x is two, y is one. So x is two, and then y is one. And then I think we're good, we just plug everything in, right? Because delta x is equal to dx, right? It's up here. And delta y is equal to dy. Whenever, whenever delta x is small, you can think of it as dx, that's the idea. Likewise for dy. So we have one times e squared. dx is, oh, it's delta x, <laughs> so 0.5, plus uh, then e, so e, e squared, and dy is uh, 0.25. So if you put this in your calculator like I did uh, a while ago, I got 5.5418. So this is the approximation of the change in z. This is the actual change in z, so not a very good approximation in this case. But I wanted to do an example just to show you how to do it. It's not hard, but you kind of just have to know where everything um, goes. That's it. I hope that made sense.